What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim School of Fishing. Class is in session. Today, we are taking a look at a traveling knife, but it's not just a regular traveling knife. It's a surprise traveling knife. The cool thing about this traveling knife is you don't know who's going to get it next. It just shows up, and it's a surprise. Pretty cool. We are looking at a Kaiser today a swags design we'll talk more about that in a minute i'm excited to take a look at this knife i have some swags knives i think she's an outstanding knife designer but i've never handled this particular knife so let's get this camera spun around and take a closer look all right so i got this in the mail the other day and it says, you just received the friendly chili pepper. Enjoy it as long as you like. And then send it along to somebody else as a surprise for them to review it and sign your name and date it. Right? So Gabe from GR Knives sent it to me. And here's all the other people that have had it. Brian Edmondson, Matt Swearingen, Kentucky Knife Hunter, JB over at Big Red EDC, RJ's Knives, Tom at Knife Delights, Ray at North Star Knife Reviews. Terry at Terry's Knives and Man Stuff and Mike Watkins. So when I'm finished with it, I'm going to send it along to somebody else as a surprise and they're not going to know it's coming. So what we're looking at today is the Kaiser Chili Pepper. All right, so what we've got here is a button lock knife. We've got almost an upswept trailing point, uh, almost a skinning type blade. It's not quite a trailing point, but it does have like a little bit of sway in the back of that blade. It's not quite a straight back, not quite what I would call a trailing point or upswept. Very cool. We've got 154 cm. We've got the Kaiser logo. On the other side of the blade, it says Chili Pepper and Swags. If you don't know who Swags is, Swags is Savannah Swaggerty. She was with Smoky Mountain Knife Works for a time, I believe. Now she is over there with Andy Armstrong and the other guys at Rosecraft Blades. I think she does phenomenal work. And her knife designs have a very specific design language that you can tell that it's hers, and I like it. We've got a T8 pivot screw, a button lock. This one is G10. We've got a deep carry pocket clip that is reversible. We've got open construction with, barrel, with a barrel backspacer, black stainless steel liners, and you can see there on the inside that they are milled out for some weight reduction. The overall length on this is just a hair over seven inches. I'd say maybe seven and an eighth. And our blade length here is just a hair over three inches. So this is a perfect size for EDC. We've got dual thumb stud deployment and it's also got a front flipper, some nice jimping that goes way up the back of the blade, some nice fine jimping, which I really like. So you can see, obviously, why they call it the chili pepper, right? Very much looks like a chili pepper. Super easy to thumb flick. The action on this thing is phenomenal. Thumb flick is simple. Reverse flick is simple. For being a button lock, it really has good action because there's no detent ball. When you have a button lock, the button acts as the detent and sometimes it's a little soft but on this one it does give you a good detent feel i really like it super comfortable in the hand we've got that nice bowed back that just fits right into your hand there i mean that that is perfect listen to the acoustics on this too it almost sounds like an aluminum knife does Especially when I reverse flick it. Listen. I didn't do it that time. It, it has that sort of that metallic 
ring to it that you get with an aluminum handled knife. Now, this is one of her designs that I don't have. I do have some of her other ones, the CJRB Mylia, and then I've got the CJRB More Mylia, but you can really see Swag's design language here. She really likes that downward curving handle, and I can see why. It's very ergonomic and it's very comfortable. She's got the Pocket Monster, over there at Rosecraft Blades, which is being discontinued. I do not have one of those, and I really want one. Um, I just can't get one right now. It's the holiday season, so I'm hoping that I can get one of those before they are sold out because it is discontinued. I'd love to get my hands on the Sully version, the Monsters, Inc. version, but I'm sure those are gone. I think the only ones they have left are the red and black ones can't get one right now hopefully they're still left she's also got one called the Kaiser sway bag she made a modern button lock version of a sway back pattern I thought that I had that but I don't I was like I know I have a Kaiser sway back around here when I was setting up for this video and I don't so I ordered that today um, because they had some Black Friday pricing and they only had like three left, so I had to grab that. But I do want that pocket monster. I really like Swag's designs. I like her design language. I think this is outstanding. I'm definitely gonna pick one of these up. I don't know why I don't have one of these, but this would be a perfect EDC carry. The size is right, the action is outstanding, and we've got good blade steel. It's an attractive knife. The action is great. I love it, just like I love all of Swag's knives. There you go, boys and girls, the Swag's Kaiser Chili Pepper. Awesome knife. I'll definitely be picking that up. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. I really enjoy talking to you guys. We're almost to 2,000. I'm five subscribers away from 2,000. Once I hit 2,000, I'm going to do a great big giveaway. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, just click right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim School Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.